Okay, this evening we're going to be reworking what's called a ZIF clip. A ZIF, Z-I-F clip. What happened, or was it used for, is a the uh, ribbon cable for an LCD screen uh, uh, goes down inside there, and then these, these shove that clip down, and it locks it in place. So that's what you're there for. So we're going to rework this. It appears what happened was, let's see here, this crystal right there. The machine tried to place this crystal the first time and wants to drop it right here. All right, so this was in the way. So when the machine tried to place this zip clip, it uh, knocked it off pads. So we're going to heat this up. We're going to remove that uh, crystal first, and then we're going to bump this back on the pad. I just wanted to show you this. This is the uh, zip clip at the bottom of it. That's what we're going to be replacing. I mean, back on the pad. Pretty, pretty easy. But the thing is, these things are very susceptible to heat. Touch them with a soldering iron and too much uh, hot air on them, they will melt pretty easily. So what we're going to do, get this out of the way here. We're going to be using a code board heat. A little Baco board heater. Alright, this is going to go underneath the board. Alright, I'm going to turn this on. We're going to crank the heat all the way up. This will never get uh, so hot where it's going to melt parts off the other side. It gets up uh, just below melting temperature. So it's going to be placed right underneath. See that? Now let me squeeze underneath here. Right underneath, we're going to be reflowing. So we're going to bring the whole board up to temperature first. All right. And then on top, we're going to hit with my trusty Heiko hot air. In fact, uh, get that uh, preheated. And then we're going to dial the, t or dial the air velocity down. We don't want very much. Like I said, that zip clip, it's a plastic uh, material. It will melt. So, board heat on the bottom and low air velocity here. I'm going to slowly and indirectly uh, bring this up to temperature. So, I'm going to be aiming the hot air right around this area here. If I hit it here, the air is going to blast into this part and melt it. And uh, I suppose I could come this way, but I don't want to unnecessarily heat any more parts. Uh, than I have to, so we're going to come in this way. We're going to concentrate on this area of copper. There's all copper underneath here, so that heat's going to transfer slowly, transfer over, wick up. It's going to melt these, uh, reflow these pads, and we'll get that crystal out of there. All right, so once again, I'm going to hit this with uh, using my trusty tacky flux. All right, back right now, and get this preheated. All right, that board is right dead center, right where I want it. Over here. We do have bigger board heaters. This small little guy, I can get it exactly where I want it. Right underneath that part. All right, while that's preheating the board up to temperature, I'm going to get try to get this camera and put it in place. This is going to be really awkward here. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute and uh, I'll be back. I'm just preheated. Alright, let's get this tacky flux on here. I don't want too much to get down inside the uh, zip clip connectors. If I do, I got uh, the flux off and I'll clean the living crap out of it. Like I said, I don't mind using too much flux. That's what they make flux removal for. This one here. Right. Okay, here we go. Like I said, once again, this is going to be very indirect heat. Right. We'll slowly heat this up. Very indirect. Patience is the key here. Like I said I prefer all surfaces to be up at the same temperature. Be very careful here. Okay, we're starting to see a little bit of solder melt. Get the crystals out of the way. Let me get rid of that. pads are melted. We don't want to force anything. 
There we go. And that's how we do it. All right. It still liquefies, so I'm going to make sure not to bump it. I'm turn the door heat off. Just slide it slowly out of the way. Get the door pulled down. All right. Yep, that's all on pad. Here, I'll pick up the camera. cool down a little bit then we're going to clean clean it very thoroughly uh, give me a second i'll be back after this cools down all right it's decently cooled down decently <laughs> all right i'm gonna need to hit the his and flux off first There's no flux down inside that connector because it won't make good connection. I'm gonna go to pop that LCD screen down in there. Sorry guys, I'm very particular with my work here. I know I hate when I get something, a product, you get it, you open up the box, try to power it on, doesn't work, and I can't stand that. So that's not gonna happen with this. Right under my watch. I think that leaves my hands going to be as best as it's going to be. Yeah, very clean. I just want to make sure I flush everything off. That's going to get my 99% alcohol. A little bit of alcohol on there. That magnifies almost a little bit. It's like a little, you can see great detail on top of what I'm using now on my microscope. Okay, we're looking good. It's gotta be perfect. All right, hang on, let me pick up the camera. And that's the way we do it. One zip clip. Reworked, all right. <laughs> this has been another KP68 to work, reworking a plastic part with indirect heat. Alright, catch you later. Click, click.